What's going on people? Welcome back to the channel. A little something cool for you first before we start talking about Wesley Fofana's links to Real Madrid. Have a look at this. Let me know what your thoughts are on this kit right now released by Scorp. Check it out. <laughs> There you go. If you fancy that kit, and by the way, it will sell out very, very quick. You only got to check on his website, which is in the description of the video. It sells out very, very quick. All of his kits that he makes sell out like that. So please go and check it out. The website is in the description of the video. And there's also a 20% discount code in the description too. So go and get it right now before it's gone. Don't be too late. Don't be a sucker. Go and get it. Right. Let's talk about... Real Madrid coming in for Wesley Fofana. Now, reports have come in this morning that uh, this is from the Daily Star, the Sun, and also One Football. So I'll quickly read out what One Football say, and then we'll discuss. So Real Madrid are eyeing up Leicester City's defender Wesley Fofana. Fofana was a revelation for Leicester in his first season in England. The Daily Star say that the youngster's form has brought him attention to some of the biggest clubs, including Real Madrid. Now, Real Madrid see Fofana as a potential replacement for Rafael Varane. Now, Rafael Varane looks like he's set to leave to go Manchester United because he's on his final week, I think, of his, of, of his contract at Real Madrid. Now, I'm a little worried because, obviously, these are big club names. Real Madrid is one of those massive clubs. It's it, one of the biggest clubs in the world. End of discussion. Real Madrid, PSG, Bayern Munich, Barcelona, Juventus. Those kind of names, they have pulling power. Now, Wesley Fofana is 20 years old. We bought him in for, what, 36 million euros? So it's about, what, 30 million pounds English money? And he was, as soon as he came in, you just seen he has got some talent. He's got a hell of a talent. And, and I think he's going to have a, a, a fantastic career. Only thing is, I don't want him to use Leicester like that as a stepping stone instant. I want him to stay at Leicester for at least another two, three years and get a bit more out of him. He's just won the FA Cup at the end of the day at 20 years old. Do you imagine winning the FA Cup? One of, at the time, OK, probably years ago, one of the most prestigious cups in all of football, the FA Cup. Not so much these days because of the Premier League and TV and blah, 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 blah. Things have moved on. But the FA Cup is still one hell of a big, successful cup to win. And Fafana's done that at 20 years old at Leicester. I think he's still got loads to, to learn, loads to improve on before he makes the jump to a big club. I want to know what your thoughts are in the comments, though. Please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on, on first of all, Fafana joining a side like Real Madrid. Do you think it's too early for him as a player? Do, do you think he needs to gel a bit more and learn his craft before he moves to such a giant club? Second of all, he's only in a one year of his five-year contract with Leicester. So we, by rights, have, 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 have the say on money. How much do you think Wesley Fofana is worth? And how much do you think Leicester could ask for him from a club the size of Real Madrid? If Wesley Fofana does go, if Leicester are interested in this deal, how much money do we throw at that club and say, if you want him, you pay for him? Because that's exactly what we did with Harry Maguire for Manchester United. And we, 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 we took the mick. Let's be honest, £80 million pounds for Harry Maguire, we, we took the mick. We, we, uh, we built a training facility on that as well. How much money do you think we could earn for Fafana? Bearing in mind, he hasn't got the English premium that Harry Maguire had. I'm still going to say around 55 to £65 million, pounds, at least. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. How much Wesley Fafana, to you, Leicester fans... As well as anyone else that's watching this video that isn't a Leicester fan, how much Wesley Fafana should be worth right now? 
one of the probably the most he's, he's got to be up there for one of the most wanted young defenders in the Premier League. Fact. Um, I, it's it's mad, but the thing is, if we do sell him, we've only got Johnny Evans, and we've only yeah we've only got Faith Free or Johnny Evans and Soyuncu. There's no there's no Wesley Morgan. There's no Wes Morgan. He's gone. Wes Morgan has retired. He's finished. Benkovic is still a part of the side, I believe, although I think he's definitely on his way out. I just don't see... I don't think he's ready at all. Brendan Rodgers has said before, he's not ready. He's not not proved that he's ready. Unfortunate for the lad. Uh, I think he was already on his way out, to be honest with you. I don't think he's found a permanent move yet. Um, so, who do we go for if Fafana goes? We need someone with Premier League experience. We need someone proven. 28-year-old Tarkowski? Burnley? I think so. I think that's the one. Let, let me know what your thoughts on that. I think that's the one. I know I, I already signed him in my FIFA career. Yes, I know that. Um, and, and that maybe I'm being biased on my own managerial ex, uh, experience with my career mode. But <laughs> Tarkowski fits the mould, fits in the bracket. I think he'd slot right in. Probably not quite as good as Wesley Fofana, let's be honest with you. Uh, especially with the age gap of eight years, you know, 20-year-old to 28-year-old. Um, but I think that would be... I'd, I'd be happy with 70, 70 million nearly in, in money for Wesley Fofana. And we're buying Tarkowski for, I don't know, I think we got a bid turned down before for about £30 million. Pounds. So if we can somehow pull Tarkowski in, I think that'll help s sort of sweeten the deal with Fofana going. I don't want him to go at all. Do not want him to go one, one bit. I think he's got plenty of time to, to gel into a better player than he already is. Um, by staying at a club like Leicester and getting full game time and commitment and and working well with a side that he's already worked well with for a year. But if he does go, unfortunately, it does happen in football. Kante was only here for one year and I was gutted when he left, like I said. Um, obviously, going to an English club, a little bit different to going abroad. Um but overall, I was a bit gutted that he went after just the first year. I think we could have done a lot better in the Champions League if we had Kante that season after we'd won the Premier League. Um, but let me know in the thoughts, guys. Please follow me at Leo Score Chappie on all social platforms. We're on Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, the lot. We're on everything right now. Uh, and uh, please hit the subscribe button as well. We're on a road to 14K. We've done the 13K, Chappers. 14K we're on the road to. Uh, and uh, make sure you check out the kit launched by Scorp right now. Go and check it out on the website. Go and click, I think, in the discount code CHAPPY20. You get 20% off. It will sell out. I'm telling you, it will be gone before you even think you... you I'll oh, wait till tomorrow. I'll wait till the next day. Trust me, it's going to be gone. It will be gone. Have a look at the video again. I'll play it right now for you and uh, have a look at it. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Take care of yourselves and stay safe. I'll see you later. <laughs>